Hi, my name is Ryan Hefner, and today we're going to look at and compare a industry standard pinch valve uh, and compare that to an Equilibar single-use back pressure regulator. Both systems have fluid delivered by a Watson Marlow peristaltic pump. On our visual display here, we have the uh, inlet pressure from the pinch valve in yellow. Uh, this here is on a PID loop, uh, so it's attempting to control at about 20 PSI set point, and I've got the pump running at about half a liter a minute. Going to make a flow change. We'll see the system needs to respond accordingly, so the PID loop is going to attempt to open the valve a little bit to respond to this increase in flow, which it's doing, and uh, it's been able to get to set point now. Uh, there's a little bit of oscillation in the tuning, um, uh, and the tuning values are changed uh, less than 1%, so this is an extremely fast uh, tuning algorithm. And we're going to compare that against our back pressure regulator at approximately the same set point. So I've got the back pressure regulator. I'm going to reorient the flow. Now the flow is dropping down to our back pressure regulator. And on our visual display here, we have the uh, back pressure in white here. <coughs> Uh, so the amplitude uh, prior was about 4 PSI on the uh, inlet pressure, and we've seen at least um, a reduction in that down to 2. That's at in about 3 quarters of a liter of flow, maybe even slightly less than 2 PSI amplitude. Uh, so I'm going to drop that down to 500, and uh, we see no change in stability um, and a slight reduction in amplitude. The back pressure regulator is in open loop, so there is no PID. PID would only help smooth this out uh, a little bit more. Now we're going to focus on pulsation dampening. Again, we have our Watson Marlowe pump. In this case, I've pulled the tubing out, and now this is uh, the flow path is moving through an unrestricted section. It goes out to this pressure transducer in red, and I've got a system restriction artificially set by a needle valve. I've got our pump again running at about half a liter a minute. This time the, down, the pressure it really from the pump is in red. We see about a two PSI amplitude. Uh, so I'm going to divert the flow path to show our pulsation dampener uh, and show the benefit here. So I've made that flow path change. And we've changed the amplitude from about two PSI to certainly less than one, maybe even less than half a PSI amplitude. So we've seen an extremely large reduction in the pulsation profile. Going to make one more flow change here. So we'll increase the flow again. This time it's uh, about 900 uh, milliliters per minute. We can drop the restriction back to get down to our 20 PSI set point just for comparison. All right, here's uh, approximately our, our new flow at the same uh, pressure, and I'm going to divert back and show you what the pump profile would be. So this section again shows our pulsation dampener versus the pump's natural pulsation, uh, which you know again shows an extremely large reduction in the uh, pressure's amplitude. 